just wanna have new. <laughs> yeah. New, 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 new. Okay, first up, it's an update. Yes, this is an update. We've got the uh, Neo RGB Stemma board. Um, this is the board that takes NeoPixel signal input and um, up to, I think, 24, sorry, tw 16 volts uh, power, and it will convert the NeoPixel signal for one pixel into one RGB um, control. So you can, like, if you have, you know, these RGB neons or like an RGB LED, and especially ones that take 12 volts and you want, like the whole thing lights up the same color, you want to control it as if it was a NeoPixel. Um, this has the three high voltage, high current transistors, the WS2811, and now it, it um, includes a level shifter. So if your NeoPixel signal is three volts, it'll work much, much better. Before it was a little bit flaky at three, it worked great at five, but now it works perfectly at um, any voltage. I just rearranged the parts a little bit and uh, great for making your RGB um, LEDs into NeoPixels. Okay, the start of the show, besides you, Lady Ada, our customers, our staff, the community, and everyone doing all the code in Russian. No, um, <laughs> it is, because uh, uh, it's funny. It's it's funny. Inside joke. Okay. Is this? Glow Stitch. Um, so this is from Maker Queen. Um, we love products that come from this company. And um, I'm happy to uh, stop this really neat, like wearable friendly, but also like crafting friendly kit. Um, this kit, I think, is great because it comes with a lot of stuff. It comes with a coin battery holder. So you use a CR2032. What I like is they also include uh, AAA batteries, which I think are way safer. Um, coin cell batteries are much smaller, but like there is a risk that See, kids will swallow. Look, this is not a $54 million VC funded company, and they had plenty of time to put the open source hardware logo and say that it's Creative Commons. You can do it. It's possible. It's possible. Um, this is cool. Nice art. Product, nice yes, art too. Yeah. Really beautiful art. Um, they, they have an extra touch. So yeah. um, I want to show the one thing that's really interesting. I've never seen this before is the LEDs. Um, they're not NeoPixel, so I just like did it. Hold on. I don't think I just triggered them. So these are little super smart LEDs, and you just power them with like three volts, and they go through like a, a color swirl. They're not NeoPixel, right? They're not digital. Um, oops. My, my battery connection's not good. Oh, I see what happened. This slipped. Okay, sorry. Oops. Um, yeah, I have, the, I have the, the AA battery pack over here that I, I'm connected to with alligator clips. And um, it, so it does this colorful swirl, so it's like green, and then it's yellow, and then it's red, and whatever, and purple, and it goes through um, the color connections. But it's not digitally addressable, so when you, when you power it, it just like turns on um, all the LEDs the same color. And I'll take this off. You can cut these out. So this is like a super um, flexible PCB, and you can see that there is a little tab connecting let's see, you can see the little tab connecting them you can just cut this with scissors and now you have um you can sew over them like with a sewing machine or you can use um this conductive tape that they include i love this uh conductive tape it's used for like esd stuff but it's also um it's metal and has conductive glue on it so you can use it on paper it doesn't crack like copper tape so it's like a little bit nicer than copper tape you can also hand sew it if you want, but the nice thing is you don't have to hand sew it. And then this is um, some plain white LEDs. So those were like the, you know, rainbow swirly ones. And this is just. Did I mess something up here? These batteries also might be dead. Hold on. Oh, live demo. Did you not have. Uh... It just worked. Oh, you know what? I think my cables are gone. Maybe let's go to the image. That's where we got it. Oh, you know why? It's because I'm using um, rechargeable batteries and the recharging battery will brush um, lower voltage than alkalines. So uh, good thing for other people to know, if you're using these, uh, use alkalines, not rechargeables. Don't worry, I'll edit this. I'll say, if you use rechargeables, here's one of the things that can happen. Yes. That's what the edit will look like. Sorry about that. I mean, of course it like, you know, worked yes, at first like and then that. as the battery started dying, it stopped working. This happens to me all the time because I have rechargeable batteries after yes. alkalines for stuff. So, um, RG Williams, and let's show the white ones. Do we have a picture of the white ones? No, there's also the white no. These? Yes. No. No, these. Yes. I think. Yes, there's also white LEDs. Um, or if you want to 
Can we grab some batteries or no? No, we got to do the rest of the show. Oh, keep going. Um, okay, so click on here. Yeah. So the ones on in the left are the three RGB LEDs, and then the and the right there's just one white LED. So good for like, um, you know, just like bright white effects. Um, and it comes with a kit. You get everything included, and it comes with a booklet, and it comes with some cool purple packaging material. So yeah, I don't know. I like these. I think these are really well designed. I remember um, these were previewed. I think at a maker fair, and I'm glad they're in the world now. This is a really yeah. beautiful design. Good work. Thanks, Thanks for products. New, 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 new.